What's going on, folks? What's going on? What's going on? I'd like to big up all my supporters. I see y'all came through with some likes, some shares, some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Thumbs up to you. All right. Uh, I'd like to big up all my haters as well. Because uh, until you identify them and let them know that they're a hater of your channel or your journey, um, they don't know themselves, all right? So big up to all my haters as well, because there's no reason why I should be at 3,000 subscribers. And my last video got 3,000 views in two days, all right? So I don't understand why I'm still sitting at 3,000 subscribers. But anyway... I make these videos for myself now, being that I have no subscribers and very little likes, alright? So there's no reason to uh, worry about sharing extensive information, alright? But anyway, I'm doing these videos for future references or whatever the case may be, or if I want to share it to someone personally, they have something to look at or I have something to look back on, alright? So anyway, today is another special day, alright? As you can see, I still have the black tablecloth up, so it's got to be a monumental moment, or I should say a very special moment, alright? So, as you see in the title of the video, alright, this is the most powerful 4-channel amplifier, alright? It's the most powerful, affordable 4-channel amplifier, alright? And guess who has it? That's right. And it's not also just a 4-channel. This is the new version of a 4-channel amplifier that many of you already know, all right? So I know you might be a little surprised, all right? I'd like to say special shout-out to Wasi in the meantime. And um, I'd like to say big up to CVR as well, all right? As you saw my last video with the, um, the Wasi, I mean, great amplifier, great purchase. I love it, all right? I had to have them, all right? Those were the four channels. Um, I think I'm on a four-channel kick now, you know, because you can do so much more with the four-channel than a two-channel. And it's like two amplifiers in one, all right? So um, I think I'm loving four channels now. I mean, my Crown Macro Techs are not going anywhere. My QSCs are not going anywhere. You know, those are like the... The workhorses so um that's part of that's part of sound system culture so i have to have a little bit of you know the originators you know the ones that made it really good in the game because i remember the first time that i heard some really really heavy strong bass that i couldn't even stand close to the speaker boxes it was a crown 2400 playing that bass and i was surprised all right i was blown away and i said one day i have to have me a crown macro tech all right so it was a long journey, but I stopped DJing many times, all right? Off and on, off and on, maybe five times, all right? Over a 20-year period. So um, it's my fault. I could have done all this earlier, but I've stopped, started, stopped, sold, bought again, sold again, bought again. So I probably built about four sound systems, all right? So um, I've kind of been around the block, all right? So uh, this one here, I say I'm not selling. I'm going to keep this sound system, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, money into it, and I'm going to keep it around, okay? So one day, maybe my grandkids, you know, can um, have it to play around with, because my two sons, they don't want anything to do with the system, which is sad, you know, because when I was their age, I was running out and buying my first uh, speaker and buying my first cassette deck and stuff, uh, you know, so forth, trying to get a little system together doing school dances, you know, that type of thing. That was my journey until I got to the club stage. But um, but anyway, uh, enough of rambling on, even though I'm doing this for myself now because I have no subscribers. I uh, figure I'll just make a little documentary type thingy. So one day, I might have to look back at this and say, wow, it was a nice run. All right, so uh, here it is, all right? This is not as light as the Wasi. Put that phone over there so I don't knock anything over. I can't pick it up like the Wasi, but it's still liftable, all right? It's not as heavy, 
I hope you can see that. All right. Welcome to AdMark. All right. Yep, I have taken that route. So I've had CVR three zero zero two, great amplifier, loved it. All right. Um, figured to try something else. I know I had to have the Wasis. So um, you're gonna probably say, why didn't I get the the Wasi fifteen K, which is a more powerful amp than the ones that I bought? But if you know me, I'm all about affordability. All right. So. Why buy one Mercedes when I can buy two Hondas, right? I'm, I could still take the same route, all right? Do the same speed. Maybe not as fast as the Mercedes, but I can take the same roads and reach about the same time, okay? So this is where this is at, all right? I can get more power with less money, all right? So this is the most of most powerful four channel amplifier to this date all right so when i say that you power soft guys k20s you're right there almost but your k4s your k8s or x x4s x8s whatever they are power soft this right here this beats them okay all right let me get this open and stop the talking, right? So, I will say, I'm the first to have this amplifier, at least on YouTube, or any other social media. I haven't seen anyone with it. All right, this is the AD442, which, some people already have in the old version, but this is the new version, okay? This is the 2024 version, and I can say, I'm not one to brag or boast, but um, I can say that I think I am the first one to have this. All right, so as I open it, it's a lot of pattern in there. But I just want to get this on camera to see, show you how the bottom looks. It got beat up pretty bad. All right, it's like you had a fight with a pit bull or something. But anyway, I hope everything is okay. So I just had to catch that on camera. All right. Um, believe it or not, I ordered this probably a day before the Wasi, and I'm getting it. I just got it yesterday. So the original um, delivery date was April 8th. And this thing got here within, you know, that seven day period or whatever the case may be. All right. So, you know, big thumbs up to AdMark. I don't know, you guys are flying your uh, stuff out on jets or whatever, but this thing was like in my state within a few days. All right. So the weekend is what really held it up. But, um, but here we go. All right. Nice thick pattern here. Probably about inch and a half foam. All right. There goes the manual. Very important because I gotta check the real specs on this. All right. So I'm gonna read the specs off anyway because I know some people will say, "Oh, yeah, but the X4, yeah, the X4 is a computer." All right. When we're talking about real power here. Without all that, without all that processing effects and stuff, this is where it's at. All right, so this gets rid of all that, all that Microsoft processing and all that stuff that's in those uh, power saw, and this just gets straight to the nitty gritty. Okay, this is just pure power with turbo. Okay, if you know any cars with turbo. You know how they are versus straight engine. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down so I can get this box out of the way. Because I don't want no problems, all right? If you watch some of my videos, I'm always dropping something. So we're not going to drop this one. All right, so, 
So like I said, this is a little bit more than the regular AD442. This costs a little bit more because it's a new version. All right, so everybody with the old ones, respect. But this one is the new one, and I got it. All right, so uh, let me get this thing out of the bag. I'll let you see what it looks like. Feels really good so far. This feels like the weight of both Wasis put together. All right. I'm gonna turn it on its side here. Try not to rip the plastic, but. All right. You know how I am about my packaging. I like to keep everything nice and neat. All right, so let me let you see what this baby looks like. Okay. Okay. It's the new face, they call it AD442, okay? The most powerful four channel amplifier to this day. All right? And you've seen it here first. All right, so in the meantime, go ahead and hit those subscribe button, that like button, that share button. All right, let a friend see it before I plug it in for you, all right? In the meantime, I'm going to read off a little bit of specs and let you hear what this thing is working with, all right? Now first I'm going to tell you what the X4 power rating is, okay? Okay, the X4 at 8 ohms, let me sit down. The X4 at 8 ohms is 1600 watts. And now you might say, yeah, they have an X8 power soft, but the X8 is just two X4s put together. So that gives you the eight channels. That's all it is. There is no difference. Okay, so at 4 ohms, we're hitting at 3000 watts. Okay, and this is a four channel also. So per channel, 3,000. Now at 2 ohms, you get a whopping 5,200. Okay, that's in 2 ohms at 4 channels driven. Alright? And you also get the X4 computer processing and all that, all that Dante, all that good stuff that most of us sound guys don't care about. We're not going to use it anyway. It's just the name that would make us get it. Alright? Half the stuff we would never touch because we have... We like to have so many separate processes anyway that we really don't need half of the stuff that's inside the amplifier. And that's where we make a mistake in just buying things just because the next man has it. We buy things that we don't necessarily need, okay? So when you're talking about raw power, and this is scary power from this AdMark, all right? I don't ever think I even want to mess around and even test it out to push it to that level to find out because I hear you can burn a whole lot of stuff up playing around with this amplifier alright so you gotta know what you're doing alright so um, let me get into the nitty gritty here of the specs alright I already have the specs right here but um I want to see what it says in the manual because I think I think they might be mistaken on the website. All right, so I'm just trying to clarify before I read out what's going on here. Okay. Uh, do, do. All right, all right, all right. All right. 
So anywho, as I was saying, the X4 is at 1600 watts at 8 ohms. This baby here is 4200 watts at 8 ohms. 4200 watts. We can stop right there at 8 ohms. That's all I need, okay? Mind you, 1600 watts from an X4 in which an X4, the price starting, maybe you can get one for $5,000, okay? You can possibly almost buy four, four of these or three and a half of these compared to an X4, okay? But at 1600 watts versus 4,200 watts at eight ohms. Do you hear what I'm saying? 4,200 watts. Do I need to go any further? Do I need to go any further? This is the most powerful amplifier I've touched. Okay? Do you want to hear 4 ohms? Do you really want to hear 4 ohms? X4. X4. 3000 watts at 4 ohms. That is the X4. Do you want to hear this one? Hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button, all right? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Add mark at four ohms, all channels driven, 7,200 watts at four ohms. Did you hear me? 7,200 watts at four ohms by four. You can chop that up into four. Okay, that's 7,200 watts per channel per each knob of this baby. Each knob, 7,200 watts. X4, 3,000 watts at four ohms versus 7,200 watts. Do you hear that? That is a 4,200 watt difference Per channel. This thing is a killer right here, okay? This is the beast. All right, add mark. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The only thing I can say that is close to this right now is probably the CVR. And it's still some wattages behind, all right? Let me tell you what's in this bad boy. There's a new thing called a gallium nitrate. Okay. Okay, gallium nitrate for power supply in this bad boy right here. So y'all have the old ones, the old 442s or the old uh, K30s, K35s, 42s. This bad boy. Admark AD442, the biggest four channel ever, used the new material, gallium nitrate, for power supply. Heat only 60% of the AD42. Less heat, more stable. Gallium nitrate material makes much more, much higher power density, also requires much less on capacitors, which makes it possible to use. You ready for this? 400 volt capacitors, 60 pieces are in this uh, amplifier, okay? 60 pieces. So that gives you the bigger power output if you're wondering how do they make that much power, okay? So gallium nitrate, that's their secret, all right? For pushing more power, less heat. Less heat, more power, right? Makes sense. All right, so 
the cord the cord is nice and thick what is this Probably like a four gauge. Uh, yeah, it's pretty thick. It has one of those uh, Home Depot plugs on it. All right, it's a 120 plug, but it's uh, it's copper plated. It's not even the regular nickel. It's copper plated. Nice and shiny. I'm gonna let you see this, okay? Cause uh, this is where you're gonna see it at. All right. Um, not even the Admark channel has this amplifier on it yet. So even if you go to Admark, they don't have this on their web on their channel. So look at that plug, okay? That is pure copper. All right, rose gold. All right, on a big Home Depot plug. And here's the wire. Okay. Even the wire. Even the wire is up to 500 volts or something like that, so I don't have my glasses on. Today's my day off, so I figured I would do this. Normally, on a Tuesday, I do nothing. Okay, anyone who does 12, 13 hour shifts, you know what I'm talking about, all right? You do nothing on that day off, all right? You work three 13s in a row, all right, it takes a couple of days to get back to normal, all right, so anyone who does 12, 13 hour shifts know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, all right. I got my yellow wire this time, all right. I hope I don't uh, hit the breaker out or anything. I know the CVR needed to be by itself, so this is definitely by itself. Um, I have this plugged into the washing machine plug, so it uh, should be alright. But anyway, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, because if you're excited as I am, I want to see what this baby looks like. As I've said, I've never seen one before, and this is my first time, okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, that's a big plug. Ugh, could barely get in there. Alright. That's what she said. Could barely get it in there. But anywho, there you have it, folks. Oh, it even comes with uh, rubber feet if you're going to just put this on a table or something. You know what I mean? And notice on the manual it says high end. High end. I'm sure a lot of y'all manuals don't say high end, professional. Professional audio power amplifier. All right. It's my first time seeing high end on a manual for an amplifier. So yeah, I've been in the cheap world for a little while, but I'm um, stepping my game up. All right for the new year. Not that I can't get it, but I'm a little bit smarter than that. All right. I graduated 123 in my class, all right, out of almost 500 kids, so I'm not that stupid, all right? So I'm not going to go buy the most expensive just because. I'm going to buy what works for me, all right? But I should let you see the back before I do turn it on. Let me turn this thing around. Now, what I'm noticing with the back... I think it's a, okay, it's a twist lock. I think you could take the plug off in the back there. But let me let you see what it looks like there. Okay, there's the top. All right, so I'm giving you a nice overview here of what this thing looks like. 
All right, you got all the metal lock-ins on here. All right, so your cable is not coming out. All right. You got four fans in the back. You got your four outputs and you got your four inputs. All right. So you're seeing it just as I'm seeing it because I've had this for a day now and I didn't cheat and open it up. Actually, everything I bought the last week or so is still sitting in the box. I didn't even get a chance to hook them up yet because I've been working. But I will do it tomorrow. I'll make a video tomorrow racking everything up and uh, setting up my new rack, okay? So everyone will uh, tune in and can watch that. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to get some gloves when I power this thing on and pick it up. Because for this occasion, I put lotion on my hands today. Didn't want to seem too ashy on uh, video, right? Yeah, this is a special moment. Alright, so... I'm used to being young... Uh, when I was younger... I'm used to picking up and messing with electrical stuff while my hands are sweaty. I have sweaty hands sometimes when I put on lotion, so... And you get that little shock, you know what I mean? So I don't want no shock, so I'm putting these gloves on. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that power button. And you let me know what you think. So now these lights go sideways. Horizontal versus vertical. The other ad mark went upwards. The black ones that everyone else has. Alright, well I don't have what everyone else has, right? I got the big boy with the gallium nitrate in it. Alright, so I think this is the power button. These are just uh, look goods. Look goods on them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that power, alright? Let you see what it looks like. Hope my circuit breaker don't go out. But this is anywhere from um, 60 volts to 400. So this is a automatic switchable power supply like most of these um, small 1U digital amplifiers. But um, let me go ahead. Did y'all hit that subscribe button yet? I don't think y'all did, man. Um, maybe I should power it up in the next video, all right? Get y'all to come back. How about that? When I rack it up tomorrow, maybe I'll power it on. I don't know. Now I'm dying to see what it looks like also. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and power it up. Hit that like button though. Share it to Facebook. Do something. Show me that you appreciate all the money I spend and what I do for y'all. Letting y'all see all this new stuff. And this, I can say, I'm the first to have them. Alright? So, another thing, I don't think there's a screen on this one where you have to take out and clean because the vents are behind this plate. And I don't think there's a way to get to a screen to clean out. Because, uh, I hate dealing with that anyway. But anyway, here we go. Alright. Alright, fans come on. All channels muted. All channels unmuted, no lights. Fans are still running. Alright. I like the blue light. That's going to look really good with the Wasi. Alright. So I might get another one of these. Not that I need it. But, um... Just to have it while it's out there, you know what I mean? Because I don't think I'll need any more wattage than what I have right here, right now. Or another brand at the moment. Until Wasi comes out with a new amplifier. Uh, 20K. I'll get that one. Alright, just to have it. Okay, so that's the only reason why I didn't get the 15K. Is because I know he's going to come out with another one. Sooner or later. So I'll wait for that one. Alright? I don't like to be stuck with the old, alright? Alright, so 
There you have it, Mr. Admark. Alright, you hit it, it channels mute. This is nice. So you remember the iNukes when you powered them off, you get that pop in your speaker. So with this, you get no pop, alright? All channels are muted on, all channels are muted off. Alright, so let's just say everything went safe. I didn't get electrocuted. Alright, turning on the beast like this. Alright, so even the top is nice because you touch it and it goes away. You know, your fingerprints disappear. They don't stay. But I like it. Money well spent. Alright, so like I said, this copper plug is really thick. Alright. So uh I need a distro. Anyone uh have any good advice on a good distro? Let me know, alright? I need a distro. I gotta get someone to come and hook it up for me too though. Cause I don't mess with electricity. I'll hook a system up any day, all day. But when it comes to that breaker box, show one is not doing it. Alright? So catch you on the next one. Please like, please subscribe, please share to somebody who needs it, especially to the haters. Well, actually, they're not going to hate anymore because now I've identified that I do have haters, okay? Because I have almost 150 videos on here. I've been doing this for over 10 years, and I have way less subscribers than some folks that came out with two videos and have four or 5,000 subscribers. So that means I'm hated, right? Okay, I'll let you decide, all right? But um, that doesn't bother me anyway because this doesn't pay my bills, all right? So uh, it bothers me none. I do this more just to show folks what's going on out there with the sound system culture, new equipment, advices, whatever, tips, tricks, things to buy, things to avoid, all right, because when I was coming up, I didn't know what to buy. I bought all the wrong things, and I bought again and bought the wrong things. So I would spend two times before I finally get the third one that's good. Affordable, of course, because, of course, I could just jump and get the most expensive, but I didn't. Back then as a kid, I mean, back then I was working $7.25 an hour buying my sound system equipment. Okay, so you do the math on that. It took me forever to get my Technique 1200s. Alright, a Crown 2400 was a dream to me, to one day have it, okay? So, don't hate on me. I've been there, okay? I've been there. I've used Gemini turntables. I've used Gem Sound amplifiers, Gemini amplifiers, where every time you yell in the mic, it, it clips out. I've been there. So don't hate on me to having what I have now. I work very hard. And today's my day off, all right? Should be resting with a remote in my hand. That's what I normally do on Tuesdays. All right, so all my stuff is still in the box. I haven't touched anything. I bought all the rack gear, all everything. I can show you. I haven't put anything together. All right. They go to Wasis, they go to Mixer. All right, I got my uh, blank space came in yesterday. All right, I got the rack ears came in. All right, so um, I haven't touched anything. Rack is still empty. All right, so uh, I'm going to catch you on the next one. All right, peace out.